Unit six, my day, page sixty six, activity one, listen and read, then sing from morning to night. It's morning. Time to get up, brush my teeth, and get dressed. It's nice to stay in bed, but there's no time to rest. In the kitchen, I have some toast. It's eight o'clock. Time to go. I get my books and run real fast. I can't be late. I know. I come home in the afternoon and do my homework right away. I ask friends to come and play, and we play for the rest of the day. In the evening, after dinner, the sky is dark. There's no more light. I take a shower and go to bed. It's been a good day. Good night. Page sixty-seven, activity two. Listen, point, and say. It's one o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's four o'clock. It's five o'clock. It's six o'clock. It's seven o'clock. It's eight o'clock. It's nine o'clock. It's ten o'clock. It's eleven o'clock. It's twelve o'clock. Right. One. He gets up at seven o'clock. Two. She eats lunch at one o'clock. Three. He goes to bed at nine o'clock. Page sixty-seven, activity four. Point to the clocks in two. Listen to the model. Ask and answer. What time is it? It's one o'clock. Pages sixty-eight and sixty-nine. Activity five. Listen and read Max's day. Mom, the cat sleeps a lot. When does he get up? Max gets up at two o'clock in the afternoon. Then he eats and goes out. When does Max come back? He comes back at seven o'clock. Then he sleeps again. Max doesn't do homework. He doesn't play soccer. He doesn't watch TV. What does Max do all day? He takes a walk. He eats. He sleeps. Max's day sounds boring to me. It sounds great to me. Page seventy, activity eight. Listen and say. Good morning, Emily. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. When do you go to school? I go to school at eight o'clock. So, why are you in your pajamas? Oh, Dad, today's a holiday. Page seventy, activity ten. Listen, stick. Danny, do you want to play video games with me? At what time? At four o'clock. Sorry, I do my homework at four o'clock. 
Okay, we can play some other time. Hi, Liz. Can I speak to your mother? Sorry, Grandma. She's gone to bed. Really? When does she go to sleep? She goes to sleep at 10 o'clock. Okay, I'll call her tomorrow. Bye. Hey, Dad. There's a good movie on TV tonight. When does the movie start? It starts at 8 o'clock. But we eat dinner at 8 o'clock. Can we eat dinner at 7 o'clock? Then we can watch the movie at 8 o'clock. Okay. I'll tell your mother. Do you want to go running with me in the morning? When do you get up? I get up at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? Hmm. Okay. But that's early. Not for me. Page 72. Activity 13. Listen and read Telling Time Long Ago. What time is it? How do you know? We use clocks, watches, and cell phones to tell time. But there are other ways to measure time. Some are very old. A sundial uses the sun to tell time. The sun makes a shadow on the sundial. The shadow tells the time of day. An hourglass uses sand to measure time. Sand falls from the top of a glass to the bottom. It takes one hour for all the sand to fall to the bottom of the glass. A water clock uses water to tell time. It works like an hourglass. It has two cups. The water falls from one cup to the other. Page 73. Activity 16. Listen and read Clocks. What time do you wake up in the morning? Do you use an alarm clock? Many people do. Here are some clocks from around the world. This clock is from Germany. It's called a cuckoo clock. A cuckoo is a bird. When the hands of the clock strike the hour, the bird comes out of the little door at the top of the clock. It says, cuckoo. This alarm clock is from Japan. It helps you save money and get up on time. To stop the alarm, you put a coin in the clock. This is a grandfather clock. The first grandfather clocks came from England. This one is from the United States. The face of the clock is inside a tall case or box. It's made of wood. The part that hangs down from the face is the pendulum. The clock makes a special sound called a chime. The number of chimes helps you tell the time. Page 74. Activity 18. Listen and point. Say. 1. Walk. 2. Wake. 3. Shower. 4. Yogurt. Five. Crayon. Six. Year. Page 74. Activity 19. Listen and write. Use the words in 18. One. I use an alarm clock to wake me up. Two. Do you want to walk to school or ride the bus? 3. We go to New York every year. 4. Use a green crayon to color the grass. 5. My mom likes yogurt on her cereal in the morning. 6. 
I take a hot shower at eight o'clock every night. Page seventy four, activity twenty. Listen and say. Underline W and Y. One. We're waiting for you in your wagon. Two. Are you walking to Yolanda's house? Three. Yes, you're right. Yuma is west of here. Four. Edward wins a big award each year. Page seventy-four, activity twenty. Listen and say. Underline W and Y. One. We're waiting for you in your wagon. Two. Are you walking to Yolanda's house? Three. Yes, you're right. Yuma is west of here. Four. Edward wins a big award each year. Page seventy-five, activity twenty-one. Listen and number in order. Say. One. I get my backpack ready the night before school. Two. I get up early on school days. Three. I get dressed quickly and eat breakfast. Four. I always get to school on time. Checkpoint, units four, five, and six, page seventy-nine, activity two. Get ready. A. Look, listen, and write. Hey, Lydia. What do you want to be? Well, I like to walk and I like to be outside. I want to be a mail carrier. Really? Not me. Why not? They get up at four in the morning. What does your sister want to be? She wants to be an artist. Why? She likes to draw. She draws pictures all the time. I like to draw too. Do you want to be an artist too? No. I don't. I want to be an art teacher. I like school.